This is a video tutorial on the certain tasks for completing Chapter 3, PowerPoint, SAM Project 1A. So, of course, the first thing you need to do is go to View and make sure that you have your ruler, grid lines, and guides all turned on. The next thing is you will be um, applying a variant to the theme. So you're going to go to the design tab. This is your theme. When we are on the ION theme, you need to select a variant. Right now the second variant is selected, but your instructions tell you to select the first variant. So I'm going to select the first variant. Um, that was step one. Step two, with slide one still displaying, you're going to select the subtitle. Make sure that your mouse is over the subtitle content holder and you have a forehead arrow. And then you're going to left click and drag it right above your title. That was step two. Step three, um, you really don't need me to demo, but I do need to insert the slide so that our slide numbers are consistent. It's just inserting a slide and title content and um, entering text and you've done that. But I'm gonna go to the home and insert a new slide that is title and content layout. And you can complete the rest of step two on your own. And it is a task that you've done previously. Same thing for step four. Um, it's something that you can do without help, without demoing. The next step is five, and that is on slide three. You are going to apply a picture effect. So I'm going to select the picture, and I am going to go to the picture tools format, and I am going to go, before you've done styles, this is an actual effect, so we're going to click the down arrow by picture effects. You are going to select a glow effect, so go down to glow, and you are going to select the fourth column, one, two, three, four, and the fourth row, one, two, three, four. And that was step five. Step six is on slide four. And we are going to move um, text box over the photo. And all you're going to do is also get the forehead, move it over. And for placement, you need to look at your end of instruction slide thumbnails and it, so that you can place the text appropriately. And that was step um, six. Step seven is a task that you can do on your own without having demoed. Step eight, we are going to work on slide five and apply an animation to the bulleted list. So we need to select the bulleted list and then go to the animations tab and it tells you to um, put to um, select the appear animation. So I will select the appear animation. And that was step eight. Step nine, we will be on slide six. And we are going to recolor this image. So we're going to select the image, go to Picture Tools Format. It's kind of didn't do it smoothly. Picture Format, Down Arrow Color, Recolor, and Second Row here. Okay, and that was Step Nine. Um, step Ten. We are still on slide six, 
and you are going to insert a text box on the right side of the picture and we're going to go to insert text box your mouse will um, turn to a mouse pointer turn to an upside down cross and just left click and drag and my mouse just got stuck so froze um, another option for that I'm just going to undo that by touching my screen another option is my mouse is not working um, I'm going to touch my screen insert and you can just hit the text box then the text box will um, appear on the picture and you can just um, drag it over to where you need it and since my mouse isn't working I'm using the touch screen and so it's not absolutely um, smooth look at your end of instruction slide thumbnails for the exact placement exact placement of that text box step 11 um, you don't really need my um, help with because it's something you can do but I do need to insert a new slide so the numbers of the slides will be consistent this time you're inserting a new slide that's to content and then you'll complete the rest of the instructions um, for slide 7 um, actually you'll you can do enter the text on your own the next skill which will be step 13 is to insert a video clip over here on this content holder so on the right content holder I'm going to click on the insert video you could also go through the insert tab video but it's just easy to do it here um, it's a file that I saved um, downloaded from Sam so I'm going to browse um, to the folder where I saved it and it is the biker and so I'm going to select the video and then click insert and the video clip appears in that content holder and that was um, step 13 um, so step 11 you um, you inserted the slide and 12 you inserted some text and 13 is the video clip I am now moving to step 14 and that will be on slide 8 and you are going to take this and send it behind this um, object so I'm going to select the center object and I'm going to go to drawing tools format oh nope I'm um, I can stay on the home tab I'm sorry and go to the drawing group that's what I meant to say and click the arrange down arrow and then you just need to send to back and it will move back behind um, all the objects and that was step 14 step 15 will be on slide 9 and on that slide we're going to animate this arrow so I'm going to select that arrow and I'm going to go to the animations and they want me to do the white animation so I will select white and that again was step 15 step 16 is on slide 10 and um, we are going to apply our artistic effect to this image so I'm going to select the image go to my picture tools format click the down arrow on artistic effects and we are going to apply a chalk sketch which is in the first column and second row 